Mads K asks, when or ever do you think UAE, uh, Qatar and UAE will shake hands again? Uh, I say, that, you know, I feel that at some point in the future, maybe the next generation, they would eventually do that. I would, but nothing in the next three to five years, definitely nothing. Uh, but eventually it is going to happen because, uh, you know, they're in the Middle East and uh, they would realize that it's this, all these problems is only harming themselves and uh, empowering the West. Okay, next one. Uh, Mads K asked the question, will UAE ever offer citizenship? UAE will never offer citizenship because it's a Muslim country, it's an Arab country. They value their culture, their tradition and um, their religion. So they are never going to allow that. And would you urge your children to apply? No fucking way. I don't want my children to apply for citizenship of an Arab country. And that also, um, you know, where they follow Islam to a certain extreme and no, no, thank you. Next one, Mads K asked, will the condition of UAE improve after 2020? Uh, UAE immediately after 2020, there's going to be a very strong recession. That's at least my gut feeling. It's going to have a downturn for quite some time because um, uh, Expo 2020 is a party. They're going to hype it up, but after that, it's going to go down. And the next one is, uh, and UAE to, you know, UAE is obviously aware of that. So after Expo 2018, they're going to hype it up, hype up something new after that. Just watch. Now, next one is how will artificial intelligence change the landscape of UAE? Um, it's not going to have a revolutionary effect. Like everything is going to be robotic or futuristic. It's just going to like how you had the internet revolution, how you had the a social media revolution uh, it's it's just going to replace a couple of jobs like you know when the computers came in the 80s people thought oh we're going to all lose our jobs and computers are going to take over no more jobs were created new jobs were created new skills were required so in the same way artificial intelligence is going to come and you know new jobs are going to come where you have to manage artificial intelligence otherwise it's going to be very dangerous okay next one is um Madske, why not start discussing mainstream obje- uh, subjects, maybe movies and entertainment for a spike in subscribers? Now, it's very simple. I don't want to spread myself too thin. Uh, my passion and my interest is not movies or entertainment. Um, uh, it is doing what I like, what I want. I don't dance to what the market wants. And, um, you know, what I'm doing right now is... Uh, you know what I like, and uh, this is more like a public service announcement. I'm, I'm I'm doing it for the benefit of other people and supporting my brand. Uh, my brand is personal branding, where I earn my bread and butter, and that's what I focus on. My target market is the Middle East market, which I'm very specialized at, and that is why I speak on the Middle East market. Okay, so I'm not planning to do anything just to spike up subscribers because if I spike it up, then I need to maintain that, and right now I can't do that. Okay. Next one, Madske asks, if you had never left Dubai, would you still be criticizing on the negatives of it? No, common sense says I would not do that because if you do that, you'd be jailed for the rest of your life. Uh, anyone who criticizes any Arab Muslim country, especially where there's a monarchy, you will be jailed for the rest of your life and deported. I don't think anyone wants to do that.